Hello, Shavuot Tov. Shavuot Tov. Shavuot Tov. We have got a problem on our hands. Say, huh? <gasps> Say, huh? <gasps> What's the problem on our hands? If you didn't notice, most synagogues did not read the Torah in Shul this Shabbos. They skipped an entire parsha. In fact, it was two parshiot that we did not read uh, this week. So the question is, the next time we join together in Shul, hopefully soon, what shall we read from the Torah? Do we just pretend it never happened and skip ahead? Or do we make up everything we missed? What do we do? Find out today on... Say today's halachic moment. Today's halachic moment! Today's halachic moment! In Shulchan Aruch, Simen Kuf Lamed Hay, 135, the Ramah writes that if a congregation misses one week's Torah reading, then the next week they should make it up. That means read the previous week's as well as this week's portion. And then you're good. So it seems to be an open-shut case. Just make up last week's reading the following Shabbat. However, the plot thickens. What if you miss multiple weeks of reading? Not just one week, but two or three or more weeks of Torah reading which unfortunately might be the situation that we are in. So in that instance, we have two opposing opinions. In the one quarter is the Elia Rabba and others who write that it doesn't matter how many weeks of Torah reading you missed, when you finally come back to synagogue and read the Torah, you should make up everything that you missed in the previous weeks. So if you missed three parshiot, read all of them. If you missed five, read all of them. Might be sitting there for a couple of hours, but you make up everything that you missed in the past. That is opinion number one. However, in the other corner is the Goan of Vilna and others who say that you don't make up everything that you missed. You can only make up the most recent Shabbat's reading. That means, even if you missed four weeks of reading, you don't make them all up on the the final Shabbat. You just go back one week, read that week's portion, plus the current week's portion, and then move forward. Okay, so we've got two opinions. Make up everything, or just make up last week's portion. Regarding this disagreement, the Chafetz Chaim, in his work, the Mishnah Bura, seems to side with the opinion of the Gaon of Vilna, the second opinion that we mentioned, that you only make up the last week's portion, the previous week that you missed, and nothing before that. However, the plot thickens once again. Supposing we were to go back to synagogue this week, things would not be so simple. In our situation, there are two complications, two separate issues. First of all, this week which we missed was a double portion. We were supposed to read Vayakhel and Pikude. That creates issue number one. Issue number two is, this week's portion ends Sefer Shemot, the book of Exodus, and next week begins the book of Vayikra. These are two separate problems which there are discussions about. The fact that it's a double portion and the fact that it ends a book. Issue number one. A double portion missed means that if you want to make it up the following Shabbat, you're going to have to read three parshiot in one shot. Says the Maharam Mintz, quoted by the Magen Avram, that there's no such thing as reading three portions in one Shabbat. We've never seen such a thing. You could read a double parsha, you have two at once, but three at once, never heard of it. It doesn't exist. The Mishnah Berurah brings down this opinion, and he brings down many who argue, and he leaves it a little bit unclear, although it seems that he sides with the latter opinion that nevertheless you can make it up. However, there's a second problem. This week's portion ends the book of Shemot. Says the Maharam Mins once again, You could make up previous week's reading. However, if you're going to have to read one book and then cross over into a second book, for example, in our case, to read Parshat Pikudei, which finishes the book of Shemot, Exodus, and then begin Vayikra, which is a whole new book, that we've never heard of. To read two separate books in one Shabbat, that's too far out and it's not done. Once again, regarding this issue, we have a machloket, a disagreement brought down by the Mishnah Brura. And he says, if a congregation wishes to complete last week's reading 
even though it means spanning over two books, we don't protest Ein Mochin Be'adam. You can let them do it if they, if they so please. To recap, everyone agrees that if you miss just one week and one Torah portion, then the next week you should make up that reading. Just the read of the previous weeks as well as the current weeks. If you miss multiple portions, then there's a disagreement whether you make everything up on that one Shabbat that you come back or you just make up the previous week's reading. In that argument, the Mishnah Brewer, the Chafetz Chaim, sides with the latter opinion that you just make up the previous week's reading. If making up the previous week's reading involves reading three portions in one Shabbat or reading two separate books in one Shabbat, there are disagreements about both issues and the congregation that wishes to make it up anyway has whom to rely upon. That was today's halachic moment, and I hope to see you soon back in synagogue where we all will be happy and healthy and wiser.